Welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet Channel for another Catch, Clean, and Cook. Y'all stay tuned. So, I heard uh, stories from the old days, from the old timers, that redfish weren't fit to eat. Uh, there was millions and millions of pounds back in the day that were ground up fertilizers. It wasn't until uh, recent times, I think in the 1980s, that redfish became popular as a table fish. I mean, where I grew up, North Florida, you know, people always ate them there. They called them red bass. So you guys stick around and watch this little fishing trip and then we're going to cook up some redfish. Captain for the day, Devin Chandler. Aye aye. So uh, what do you think, how do you think we're going to do today Devin? You know, tear them up like always. And for we just got us some blue crab, some fresh, some fresh dead shrimp. 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 Bubble gum shrimp. That's what they got. You can bowl it, you can brawl it. Fry it. You can bake it. It's about all you can do with shrimp. Besides bait. Besides bait. Beautiful yeah, morning. The nation's oldest city, St. Augustine, Florida. There's a lighthouse over there. Hooked up. This was on a crab, so pulling already drag. taking a bunch of drag. Hopefully he's not a stinking shark or something like that. Might have to reel that up, but redfish. Big old redfish. Redfish City, baby. Here we go. For today. Big old redfish. Caught early this morning. this dish these are just uh, yellow grit cakes uh, we just put those in a terrine uh, you know made the grits put it in a terrine let it cool in the refrigerator we sprayed the terrine with some uh, non-stick spray and then turned them out and we put some salt and pepper on them. here I have melted butter which we'll paint on them uh, when we get ready to do them nothing special all right folks we're gonna uh, go ahead and start our grit cakes this is gonna be one of our side dishes for the uh, the redfish, um, I was waiting for Mrs. Backwoods to get back from Key West, but she's uh, taking a day to get here. So we're running out of light. We're gonna have to go ahead and get it started. 
if I'm going to film this. <clears throat> and what I have here is just cornstarch. So we painted these uh, cooled grit cakes with butter. And so we're just going to dredge them on, uh, on all the sides. Get some on this side. All sides with uh, plain old cornstarch. And we did season these with salt and pepper. All right, we'll set that one to the side. Get number two to slip him over and get it on the bottom of him. So we'll dredge him. Plain cornstarch, done special. All right, we'll set them to the side. So those are ready, and over here in the good old cast iron lodge, we got uh, our our uh, oil getting ready, and we're gonna deep fry them really fast. Remember, they're already cooked, so all we need to do is crisp them up. All right, folks, the uh, oil's up the temps. So we're gonna go ahead and lay these guys in. Number two here, it's beautiful. Look at this guy, it's right in the deep fry. And over here we already have a plate with a paper towel ready. This is not going to take long. All right, these guys are done. Let me go ahead and take them out. Here on a paper towel, and you got to kind of have a very nice crispy outside but with the creamy grits on the inside. Okay, we have our uh, redfish uh, seasoned on both sides. Uh, this is uh, one that we caught back up in uh, St. Augustine. You guys can go back and look at the video, I'll leave you a link. This is the other half, the one we didn't cook for shore lunch. So, over here. <coughs> We've got the uh, the top of our double lodge pan skillet cover combo. We got the top of that going, and then we're going to get that joker blazing, blazing hot. So we just got just a tiny bit of oil in it. I uh, rubbed it around in there, and we want a nice, dry, hot, smoking pan to do this redfish. All right, see our pan is smoking hot. Here's redfish. We're going to do these one at a time. You know, we got room to do more than one. So go ahead and drop one. And that should be a nice sizzle. Now you got to watch this. We don't want to burn it. We just want to get it crunchy brown. I give it a little, I like to try to give it a little presses down with the spatula to make sure it's contact in the pan. So we're going to go ahead and turn it now. And that's, that's going to be very close to perfect. We'll let it cook on the other side now. Alrighty. Here's the plate up, guys. Pretty simple. Nice tail piece of the black and redfish there. We get that right on the plate. All right, over here we have our uh, grit cake. We'll put that right here. All right. Then over here we have some uh, fresh microgreens. This is a uh, baby baby pak choy leaves with a um, Worcestershire, homemade Worcestershire and uh, apple cider vinaigrette, little greens there on the side, and then for that grit cake right here we have, we've, this is straight up um, sofrito, uh, tomato based sofrito from uh, Goya, this is really good stuff, it's a, it's a Spanish food, but Believe me, it is awesome with uh, any kind of a fish dish. So there you go. 
this uh, Backwoods Gourmet version of Black and Red Fish. Hope you all enjoyed. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. And as always, please subscribe, share, and comment. If you hit that like button, we'll like you back. We'll see you next time. Thank you.